on basis of a chassis of a Leopard 2 A4, we have um, set up a, a vehicle that is uh, completely digitalized and uh, includes now a lot of technologies that have never ever uh, been on a Leopard 2 chassis before, or also not on, a, uh, on any um, main battle tank that is in service right now. So um, we basically re um, removed all analog uh, components and replaced them by digital components, which actually saves uh, volume and weight, and of course gives then you the, uh, gives you the opportunity to um, include new and modern technologies from our own uh, portfolio, but also from other suppliers. So then you have a very comprehensive and customized product that serves um, the needs of the of different armies uh, in the 21st century. We are talking about that we based our complete architecture on this NATO generic vehicle architecture concept. Uh, it's not we are saying that uh, we have already integrated it because it's this Stainac is still under development, but we definitely um, integrated the thought, the idea into our tanks. And then starting from the top, we have um, the most advanced uh, fire, co fire control and sensor system um, as a commander site for the, uh, yeah, for the commander, obviously. And then combined with a, a weapon station that is directly connected with this commander site, giving the commander superior firepower against upcoming targets uh, with a very short reaction time. Uh, then we have integrated um, a completely customized protection that gives you highest protection against kinetic energy, uh, and other rounds, and then we integrated in the uh, passive protection our uh, advanced, no, active defense system that can uh, kill incoming uh, ATGMs and RPGs very close to the uh, to the vehicle, and which is the only system that complies with the collateral damage uh, requirements of the of the Stena. So um, then, further below, we put. We ripped everything out that was, as I said before, analog, and replaced it by digital uh, components, like the driver side, uh, the driver compartment. That guy, he's now driving this 60-ton tank, 60-plus ton tank, with a steering wheel that is actually like a Formula One steering wheel. So, um, and that everything, every working place in this tank is connected. So the gunner can see what the driver sees if he, if he requires. The loader can assist um, using the uh, radios or in the self-defense of the, of the vehicle itself. Uh, you have a very um, short time delay between when the commander detects a target and hands it over to the gunner. So you have a real hunter-killer capability. Of course, this system fights day and night and under each and every uh, weather condition. And then, last but not least, we have also integrated the, the ROSI rapid obscuring system, uh, rapid obscuring system that has using 40 millimeter grenades, and that can cover the um, the system within one second against any threat from uh, an enemy ATGM. And then, finally, the gunner and the commander they don't have to stick their head uh, out of the hatch when they are in a mission because they have a 360 degree situational awareness system that gives them the full coverage um, of what's happening around the system, let's say close to the uh, vehicle, up to more than 200 meters. So they actually, you actually know what's happening outside without having your head out of the hatch. So yeah, you can actually see through armor and therefore, I repeat, we think that this is definitely the most modern main battle tank in the world. We are thinking in both directions. Um, so the one thing is upgrading in-service battle tanks, like for example the Leopard 2 or the Challenger uh, here in the UK. As therefore we brought this vehicle there not to convince the British uh, or the UK to say, hey, it's a good idea to have the Leopard 2. No, because this concept we try to um, bring into the um, Challenger Life Extension program because we think what, what can be done with that tank can also be done with the Challenger 2. So therefore, we are quite experienced in what we are doing there. But of course, any new development of a new upcoming battle tank, maybe you call it the Leopard 3, 
or you call it the main ground combat system, any idea there, what we had done here can be brought into these new developments and also may end up in defining a completely new class of vehicles.